Hey folks, Engineer775 here with a new pump. I um, always like new gadgets and I this is the latest Dankoff Sun Rotor surface pump. And it has a rotor, just like some of the submersible pumps I've shown you, but this, this has a rotor in it and it's a surface pump. What that allows is um, for, it'll handle basically some dirtier water sources. It's more forgiving. So what I have this hooked up to now is my rain catchment system. So I think this is a really good pump for, for rain catchment in terms of handling water that's not well water, or really clean filtered spring water. And the pump consists of this uh, surface pump here and it also has a controller. The version that I have that I'm testing today is a 48 volt, but they also have a 24 volt system too. Uh, I've added a flow meter just to see what she was doing and how she was performing. Um, also, one of the keys, one of the tricks, I guess, um, to control the pump if you're going to pump, pump to pressure is to re use a reverse logic uh, pump. As you can see, I just uh, the pressure is up. It's up at 50 psi. Not until it hits 30 will she come on. I just manually made it come on. So I just have a couple control wires there. It's a pretty simple setup. And this this pressure switch, we're not using that one. That's a standard pressure switch. So we can direct drive. Right now we're hooked to solar panels, two, uh, two panels that are in series, and we're running about 80, 85, maybe 90 uh, volts there, open circuit. We can also, and we're going to in the next section of this video, we're going to hook it to a battery bank. So you can do direct drive off of solar and run. You can pump to pressure. But if you needed water at night, of course, you'd want to hook it to a battery bank. So a lot of different ways to uh, configure the pump. It is fully rebuildable. That's what's nice. You can put, a, put your own rotor in if you wore it out, if you're pumping really uh, gritty uh, water and uh, dirty water, and it wears the rotor out. You just unbolt it, put a new rotor in. What else can I tell you? Well, let me run it. Um, I'm going to turn the water on here. I'm just circulating it back to my rain my rain barrel so when the pressure drops down to about 30 psi it should come on if it's wired correctly so we're about to hit 30 and there she comes so she fires right up and she's running direct drive right now so I wanted to show you the flow rate and this is a restricted it's flowing through a garden hose for about eight eight gallons per minute right now but it's later in the day and we don't have as much sunlight, so we dropped off. We were pumping around nine, but I think we're yeah, right around eight gallons a minute. So she's uh, that's a lot of water, folks, eight gallons a minute on a pump like this. So pretty impressed so far with the performance. And like I said, you can pump to pressure. So I just shut that off and it'll build pressure up. And when she hits 50 PSI, the contacts on this dial switch will actually close. There we go. So that wasn't much of a long cycle time at all. And we've now got a charged 50 PSI tank. So let's try it on batteries. So this is direct drive off of solar. Let's hook it up to some batteries. Okay, we're back. We've disconnected the solar and we made our connection with our battery bank. So we're running this at 48 volts. I think it, the battery bank's sitting around 52.2 volts to start. So I'm just gonna turn the water on. And this will be our first test. Watch the pressure come down when it hits 30 psi. She should kick on and run off a battery. So there's several ways you can configure this system. You can run off a battery bank, which you can charge with solar, or you can run a direct drive solar to pump setup. And there she goes. So I'm going to shut that off, and now I'm going to let the batteries bring the pressure up. And she's doing what she's supposed to. And, and then once uh, the pressure's up, it'll turn the switch off. I just took the, the controller off because I wanted you to see the, the inside of the board. And we're pumping away on batteries. And she's fairly quiet. Obviously, anything I do on YouTube uh, is magnified with motor noise and it's because uh, people always complain about how loud it is. It's really not that loud. And so she's shut off and everything's working as it's supposed to. So that was a very quick cycle time from 30 to uh, 50 PSI in about, I don't know, I would say 
30 seconds tops okay I hope if you have any questions let me know we'll put a link in the description of where you can get one yes we'll have these at practical preppers we'll be happy not only to get you a pump but to design a system that will work in your system in your situation Again, these pumps are great for springs shallow wells rain catchment and the beauty of it there's no pre-filtration required very easy to set up easy to prime and fully rebuildable this is engineer 775 signing out okay wrapping up here with our with our uh, surface pump you see at the end of the day it's like almost five o'clock and we're still pumping six over six and six gallons a minute and from a rain barrel rain cistern we are actually pumping through a rusco spin down filter these are great in that uh, because they're sustainable especially with the rain catchment system um, you can I've got a I think it's a hundred microns stainless steel screen in there once that clogs up you'll know uh, that your flow rate will go down and your pressure will begin to build so that's a way to tell if things are working but I'm trying to test the pump in terms of its ability to pump water that's not perfectly clean you can see what's coming through that rusco out of the rain barrel nice to have a forgiving pump and ways to troubleshoot and ways to keep things cleaning so once uh, keep things clean once the flow rate comes way down so just try to remember how it's pumping when uh, everything's clean so when you see the performance go way down you know you got to do something all right so we're shaded panels in the trees five o'clock pumping six gallons a minute direct drive off the new Dankoff Sun Rotor surface pump. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Yes, I'm easily amused. So, anyway, Engineer 775, signing out. Remember, it fell. I caught it. Check out Rain Collection Supplies. Tell Joshua I sent you. RainCollectionSupplies.com. He's a good guy. And uh, he delivers very quickly.